out doing my rounds just around across the ewes that have twins at the moment and I'm just going to poke these girls back out into the other paddock just for the day I'll bring them back down later tonight I had a, a new set last night which was a maiden new and one of her lambs was in this gully and she was back over near the bale of hay with her other lamb so yeah luckily I get up during the night and check things view Ho uh, there is some blue sky so oh my gosh I do hope we have some sun because it's been turned off at the moment and yeah I just hope we don't get a heap of rain over the weekend because it's it's starting to get quite wet and it becomes a bit more stressful for me with the lambing Come girls. Come on. Sorry, bub. Come on. You going out? Come on, off you go. Sorry, bub. So this is my girl in the float that I locked up last night. So she's a maiden new. And with the lamb that was down in the gully on its own, well, that's where the boys, particularly Tony, but coming up and shooting the foxes, because having a lamb like that just exposed, usually, yeah, a, a few years ago, they'd be just, just taken that quickly. I did lose one lamb to a fox about two weeks ago i rung up tony because well I, I couldn't find anything i just the lamb the ewe had lambed and i couldn't find any carcass or anything so i suspected a fox rang tony because i was pretty concerned because a fox can be coming in every night and taking one or two lambs fortunately he made the time to come up and he shot a fox that that very next night in that paddock and i've not had anything taken since so so that was a huge relief for me. But I was worried she was going to mother both of them, but it's looking like she is. So that's a plus because I'm starting to get a handful of potties at the moment and I don't need any more. Now, Rani doesn't love me anymore. She's, after I shore her and I had to give her a needle drench, she has really cracked the shits with me and I can't get a pat. So I'm going to have to see if I can sweet her, sweeten her up with some oats or something because I'm finding it quite upsetting she won't talk to me now. I'll have to try and build up the bond again with her, the old bugger. But she's got quite a few babies in here to look after now. So a, few, a few little lambs start a bit of a play. The ewe there with the red rattle on her head, I've fostered a lamb onto her, so... Her lamb's probably up in the shelter. She... yeah, I, I don't know what happened with her lamb. I, I had put her in the yards, but anyway, I ended up losing it. So fortunately I did foster her lamb onto her. She took a while to become a good mum though, but she certainly is now. Hello girls, like Fort Knox for you, isn't it? And this year, well, like many of them have been lambing just before I'm about to go to bed. So these are pretty small these lambs. She's been very motherly, but I'll have to take her down to the shed or keep her down near the house just because they're so small. And I've got to clean that tank out because it's starting to get a bit disgusting in there. So here's my morning view at the moment, which, yeah, if that sun comes through, that'll be just really nice. But it does look pretty, uh, pretty sweet. A little bit more sun just trying to pop out over here. I don't think it's too bad of you to be seeing every morning. Especially if I can come out and check the shop and there's nothing amiss. But from the rain we've had, particularly
particularly a few days ago, I would have lost a heap of lambs if it wasn't for the fact I get up during the night and and just checking them regularly during the day, just with the cold. Not the crossies, but just the merinos. Just, I hate to think how many lambs I would have lost. Paddock where I have, like, got the use with the single lambs. You can already see the size of some of the lambs. That poor old girl, she's, she's doing it a bit tough. She's doing a great job of her lamb, but she's one of me old girls. The other, most of the other black tag ewes are, are really in good order, but there she's a bit light on it. I've got lambs everywhere in here. Usually I find these ones are slower. The twinning ones will be the ones that'll be just spitting them out everywhere. But it's been amazing how quickly these girls have been lambing. And I really need to move them into, I've got another paddock that's all nice and freshened up, but there's more covering here for them with the trees. So I haven't moved them yet. I have had a few eagles flying around and I just don't want to go moving them too far away. So this is a newie. It's always nice to come out and just see everything up on their feet getting a drink because the crows always worry me too. 